Hello, and welcome to our Alumni Spotlight podcast. My name's Autumn, and I work to tell the amazing stories of our students and alumni here at Ashworth College. Today, I'm talking with Lindsay Howard, who graduated from our Computer Information Management Undergraduate Certificate in 2020, and most recently graduated from our Computer Information Systems Associate Degree Program this year. Welcome, Lindsay. Hey, thank you. I'm glad to thank be here. Great. Thank you so much for talking with me. Lindsay, I know you're off doing some amazing things in the field. So, you know, I just want to dive right in. We'll start at the beginning, though. How did you find about out about Ashworth College and what made you enroll? Yes. So, you know, originally when I was doing some research, I was looking for something very flexible online. And I, I originally actually found Penn Foster, which is the sister school of Ashworth first. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I, you know, I was able to compare and contrast programs with, uh, with Ashworth, and that's kind of how I found it through there. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So what made you um, enter these programs specifically? These are really great programs to, you know, um, to be enrolled in and have degrees and certificates in. So can you tell me a little bit about what made you make the decision? Yes. So I did a lot of research. Um, trying to find where my niche was because honestly I'm I, I love everything I read almost and I always <laughs> want to try a lot of different things you know I actually once tried to pursue graphic design and then public relations then I went on a veterinary uh, ten, uh, tangent in life a little bit but I at least I was honest with myself and I came to realize that I do like working on projects, and I love being creative. And I also like the tech industry, too. So um, trying to narrow things down there, I decided to go for, uh, you know, something in the IT field. So mm -hmm. computer information systems seemed like a great fit. And even more so, looking at the salary outlook with, um, with, with a degree in computer information systems, which is probably what kind of won that selection of choice and what I wanted to major in. Yeah. So did you have any prior experience in the field before you got started? Um, yeah, a, a little bit. Um, you know, I did work as, a, you know, a lot of administrative work. So mm -hmm. and I've always been very quick to figure things out on the computer as well. And so I decided I just want to build on top of that. And working in digital marketing as well, you do have to be pretty tech savvy using a lot of different applications. So I definitely wanted to just concentrate on the tech side of things. Yeah, that's great. And what would you say are maybe some of the advantages um, of studying online, you know, and at your own pace? Well, as you know, it's not the, tradi the tradition and many shy away from it. But I chose it because with online education, that means low cost tuition because you're subtracting from maybe the little frills that uh, a brick and mortar school would offer. And mm -hmm. although those are great, but I'm more so just zeroed in and focused on the education part. So if I can have something where I can learn and have that flexibility, but also, you know, have a, you know, a bit of a lower tuition cost, that's going to yield a higher ROI or return on investment. And I'm happy to say that I, I felt like I definitely got my ROI with Ashworth. <laughs> That's great. And I love to hear that. And that's such a great way to put it because you're right. You know, it is a little bit more cost friendly and there's, you know, payment options and so on. But in mm -hmm. the benefit of, you know, studying at your own pace, um, you know, not having to log on for a certain time and be at classes and do the traveling. So it is really great. Mm -hmm. Speaking yeah, of. Agreed. Yeah. So speaking of studying, um, you know, at your own pace, when did you maybe find the time to study? And, and what were some of your study habits like? Gotcha. So I definitely had a lot of false starts with online education in the past. Um, mm -hmm. You have to be a very disciplined person. And, you know, having that self-discipline is a quality that is definitely hard <laughs> to develop. But once you do develop it, you can really go far. So, you know, starting off with that computer information management certificate, um, that's really where I actually kind of prefer perfected that skill. And mm -hmm. I took about two to three hours after work every day. So, of course, I worked a basic 40-hour work week, nine to six. So, 
when I came home, I would try to do two to three hours, Monday through Friday. Um, sometimes I would take a day off, but then on the weekends, I would really try to give as much as I could. Yeah, that's great. Did you find any study habits, um, you know, flashcards, taking notes, anything that, you know, might be able to help a student who may be listening to this right now progress through their studies who may be, you know, lacking motivation? Any advice there? Um, just take a lot of notes um, and m really make use of the extra resources that are provided in the studies that is provided by Ashworth. So any videos, like I pretty much watched all the videos first, so just so I can kind of get a gist of what, of what the material is going to be about when I started mm -hmm. reading through it. Because of course, with online studies, it's a lot of reading, but viewing the videos, hearing lectures, things like that, that really helps kind of absorb it um, audibly <laughs> first. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And I'm sure helpful. And you know, you have the YouTube videos you can turn to too if you needed a little mm -hmm. extra support. So that's great, that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Lindsay, um, I know you mentioned you were in the field. So can you tell me a little bit about your career path right now? Did you see any, any gains after you finished your associate program? Yes, so I was originally a digital marketing coordinator when I first started out. And with this degree, um, it, there's a lot of outcomes or different careers that you can choose. And mm -hmm. honestly, I was game for anything. Um, of course, staying within digital marketing probably was my preference because that's what I already have um, work experience in and expertise. But of course, you know, I was open to, you know, web development or just working in IT in general. I was open to other or other design jobs. Um, but of course, like I said, my goal was to stay in, stay in digital marketing. And with this degree, once I started applying for jobs, you know, it, I actually got a lot of, you know, a lot of traction, a lot of callbacks, a lot of interviews that I wouldn't have normally been able to get had I not had a degree on my resume. So, and especially with my new position now, digital marketing manager, you know, I've really felt like my, um, you know, just everything kind of culminated together. Experience, education helped me get that role. Yeah, that's great. And I love that you said you, you know, applied to a few places. You looked at all your options and even as to which career path you wanted to go. But that's awesome mm -hmm. that you decided to stay in digital marketing and you're really excelling in that field. Yes. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and I'm really happy that that worked out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I know, Lindsay, you mentioned earlier before, you know, return on investment. Can you tell me, what did you receive? You obviously received a promotion with that. I assume, um, you know, there was raises. Can you tell me mm -hmm. a little bit about that? Um, did you see like pretty much immediate return? Yes. So, you know, right away when I was applying for other jobs, uh, I was applying for other jobs with, you know, a, a higher pay range than I was making currently. And, mm -hmm. you know, that was really exciting to start to get interviews for those positions because, you know, I finally felt like, okay, this is great. I'm moving in the right direction. So yes, I, I definitely got a great, uh, you know, a great salary increase. And so that's why I am so happy that, you know, I did get my return on investment with Ashworth by keeping tuition costs low and then just being able to apply for more, uh, higher positions, higher earning, all of that. So yeah. everything worked out just as I had planned. So this is great. <laughs> and that's always great when that falls into line and everything, you know, just falls right into place. That's fantastic. It really does. Because honestly, in life, that doesn't always happen. So yeah. <laughs> it's great when your plan A actually works out. Because I promise you had a plan B, C, D, in case this didn't work out or something else didn't work out. So I'm really glad that plan A worked. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Me too. And I'm glad, you know, you're succeeding. We love to hear that our graduates are succeeding and that's just, you know, the goal. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm happy right. to hear that. Um, so Lindsay, can you tell me a little about your job? What skills are you using as a digital marketing manager that maybe you learned in your Ashworth studies? Yes. So in computer information systems, um, there's a you know, a few courses, of course, you have your, your general um, electives that cover writing, which always is a help, um, especially in marketing, <laughs> well, wherever <laughs> you go. But with computer information systems, there was uh, web design, systems design and analysis, courses like those, where you actually learn some uh, about front end development with using HTML, 
and CSS uh, languages. Mm -hmm. And in digital marketing, you do need to know um, how to use those because a lot of it is actually heavy in web content management, or at least in my position, it surely is. So you have to be able to edit uh, content on the website and you need to know which tags that you're editing and where you're putting your content, of course. So getting more familiar with that helps. And also it actually helps me develop and uh, arrange my content um, seamlessly as well. So now not only can I edit it, but I can also create it as well on our website. Yeah, that's awesome. It sounds like you mm -hmm. really know your stuff. So that's amazing. And I'm glad I'm glad you had the, you know, the education behind you to back up the work that you're doing. Yes, thank you. Of course. And I know you mentioned before, you know, you kind of seem like a lifelong learner. You said you you're always reading and learning and pursuing a lot of different interests. Are there any, you know, certificates that you're going after now? Do you have any future plans on returning to school? What's your ultimate career goal? Right. Uh, I will tell you right now, I'm, I'm pretty happy <laughs> uh, where <laughs> things are going for now. Um, I did complete uh, the Google Advanced Analytics uh, training course and certification exam. And yeah. I, you know, I just completed that just about a few weeks ago. So that's also a nice little, uh, you know, a little badge to add on your resume or on my LinkedIn page so that people can actually see that. No, yes, I actually know my way around that platform. So and with digital marketing, you know, there's not exact, exactly a lot of marketing certifications that are out there. There are some, but actually learning to get um, certified in the applications that are used commonly, such as Google Analytics. Those, those little certs are very helpful as well, long term. So I'm trying to accumulate little things like that and also perhaps maybe even delve into UX design later on, which yeah. is really just the design of a website and just how, uh, you know, how a customer maps their journey through your website into making a purchase. So I might grow into that as well in the future. Yeah, that's what, and those are all amazing things that can, you know, add to your resume and your skill set, which is so important. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then can you tell me a little bit about why you feel the the, the tech fields like so important? I feel like you got in, at, you know, such a good time. You worked through the, you know, you you studied through the pandemic. You really, um, you really did return on investment for yourself too. You know, education mm -hmm. hand in hand. Can you tell me a little bit about why that you feel like the field is so important? Yes. So the tech field there, there's a lot of opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, you know, not everything is coding. Uh, there's also a lot of room for design in the tech field. Obviously, you know, digital marketing is not 100% uh, tech uh, focus, but there is tech aspects to it. Yeah. So because there's such a wide variety of careers in there, you know, it kind of keeps me open for anything, you know, down the line. And like I told you, I've, you know, I definitely like trying different things. So that's <laughs> like the perfect degree for me. Yeah. Um, you know, long term. So I would definitely recommend the tech field if anyone uh, either likes creating things, designing things, or of that nature. Um, and then it also offers a lot of job stability. This definitely may be the, the field for you. Yeah, that's awesome. And what would you say to maybe students who are kind of on the fence about, you know, enrolling or um, taking an online self-paced program with Ashworth? I would say, you know, maybe you want to start small, kind of like what I did. I started off with the undergrad certification first mm -hmm. and, you know, and that way you earn college credit and you're also learning the um, relevant, uh, you're learning the relevant course information to the field that you want to go into. So usually when you start off with a degree, uh, you, you have to do your general electives kind of mixed in there. Yeah. And sometimes you can lose a little motivation and now you're like, well, Okay, why am I doing this again? <laughs> but if you learn, if you learn the electives first, you know the actual uh, courses that are relevant to the field you want to go into. You get a little bit more motivated, and it's only five courses in that, um, or five classes in the undergrad cert certificate program. So yeah. if you if you knock that out first, that honestly gave me the momentum to keep going. Because like I said, I've had a lot of false starts where I lost motivation, and doing it that way actually helps a lot. So start off small, give it a try. And because what's the worst that can happen? Hey, now you have a cert certification in the field that you want. So either way, you get to put it on your resume and decide if you want to keep going or not. But I can almost guarantee you once you get one thing, 
then you want to learn something else and you just want to keep building on on top of that yeah that's so true and either way it's you know a win-win either you you don't love it and you still have the certification or you love it and you're going to keep going so i love that you exactly. said that yeah yes, and, exactly. and we talk about motivation so much um with our students and you know keeping staying motivated because a self-paced program you know it is really self-motivated it could be challenging so i love that you mm -hmm. kind of gave a little bit of what helped you stay motivated so thank you for yeah. that so can you tell me um lindsay how did it how does it feel to be an ashworth graduate it feels great it actually feels like i followed through on my <laughs> goals that i set out um it, it feels really great even even my husband who's been supportive he he even told me he's like wow you actually did it and fulfilled what you said you know because of course he's watching me set out all these goals and big ideas i have and then he's like you you actually did it and that's really awesome so you know it, it's glad I'm, I'm happy that it, it all worked out and i'm happy to actually just say that i am a college graduate and you know of course i'm 28 right now you know and of course a lot of other people have honestly, or my peers, some of them have earned their degree earlier on in life. And of course, everyone's at a different journey and everyone's yeah. gonna complete things on their own time, own pace. And this is when I did it and it's working out for me. So regardless of who else is listening to this or your age or where you are, there is no rush. <laughs> you, you complete it at your own pace and you will feel just as good as if you completed it now versus 10 years ago, five years ago, or wh whenever. Yeah, I love that you mentioned that. The timing doesn't matter as long as you, you know, reach the finish line and reach your goal. So that's amazing. And I'm so glad you mentioned that. Yes, thank you. Of course. And Lindsay, I just want to, you know, wrap up our interview by asking you one last question. Um, what are three words you would use to describe your Ashworth College experience? So the three words I would say are advantageous affordable and a lot of opportunity those are three great words lindsay thank you mm -hmm. so much for talking with me and we're so proud of you over here at ashworth and i hope you keep learning and keep doing some amazing things in the field thank you and thanks again for having me and this was awesome so thanks again thank you